What's going on everybody? This is Travis from Candid at the Movies and today I will be giving you a brand new review on the comedy film known as I Love My Dad. And I Love My Dad is directed and starring young up and coming guy named James Morrissey and it also stars Patton Oswalt and <coughs> excuse me, Lil Red Howery. Now this movie is basically about, based on a true story of Patton Oswalt's character being estranged from his son, played by James Morsini, and he's basically trying to reconnect with his son after not being in his life too much, and he starts getting on his son's nerves, messaging him, calling him up all the time, and his son basically blocks him on social media, so dad gets a little bit mad about it, and he looks to Lil Rel Howery as a work friend that basically tells him, well, when my ex did this, I basically created another profile on Facebook and started seeing what I couldn't see. And Patton Oswalt's character gets this idea to do the same thing, but he gets caught up in catfishing his son and basically starting an online relationship with his son as this girl he creates known, uh, known as Becca. And hilarity ensues. I can honestly say this is probably one of the more random and funnier films I've watched this year. The, as the aspect of this film of a father going this far just to reconnect with his son is hilarious, especially when the dad is not tech savvy, doesn't really know the slang terms or anything that his son is really talking about. And it's a really cool thing to see and I also love that the director chose to have moments where the son is talking to the supposed Becca and he's having moments where you're just seeing him looking like he's having a regular conversation with a woman sitting right beside him and it's basically his dad talking to him. I thought that aspect was really cool seeing this guy fall in love with a girl that he doesn't know and hasn't even talked to or seen in person and it's just his dad. It literally had me crying to myself of the situations Patton Oswalt was putting himself into just to get to know his son more, getting people to talk on the phone as if that's the girl. It was just a lot to where you're just sitting back like, dude, just calm down. Just, just, just tell you some of the truth. You're going too far into this. And it was, it was a really refreshing story. I feel more than anything if you like raunchy comedies or stuff where people are just feeling out of place about everything, this is the movie you should watch. It's really funny, it's good, and I feel more than anything, the cast of side characters, especially Rachel Dratch, made this movie even more funnier than it was. But I will go ahead and say more than anything, this film is streaming. You can rent it different places. It's not on Netflix or anything. You're going to have to pay to, pay to watch it. But if you have the ability to go see this movie in the theaters or on streaming, definitely give it a shot. It's really funny, especially if you love comedy. And I would give this final score as a B plus. It's really funny, pretty interesting take, and I like the directional decisions that they made within this movie. It was really cool and it was very different to see. But by all means, let me know if you've seen I Love My Dad or if you're gonna check it out. Or if by the trailer that I included with this video, let me know if you thought that was worth watching or you're going to give it a shot. But by all means, my name is Travis. This is Candy at the Movies. We'll see y'all next time.